So one of the things that you often end up doing inside of forms is having your users automatically focus into the input. So when the component mounts, it, it, it just is ready to type in basically. That's focusing into that input. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do that using what's called a reference or a ref, right? So in our constructor, we wanna create this initial reference. And I'll just say this dot, well, I wanna give my input a reference name. So I'm gonna just give it in here. I'm gonna just call it input full name ref. Um, now you could just say input ref, right? But if you end up having a lot of different fields, it would probably make more sense to have something that's unique to that input itself. And in this case, I use the name. So all I do is react.create ref. And this will create a reference that I can use throughout my component. And yes, you can put this in the constructor. This is actually something that's good to put in the instructor, uh, constructor rather. Uh, you don't have to put it in component amount. It probably would work there, um, but you don't need to. Because especially with component amount, you don't, if you don't need to use it, don't use it. Um, constructor is really good for that. Okay, so how do we actually do this? All I need to do is say ref equals to this dot, and then of course the, the name of the reference that I just created. Um, so now, since I am using focus when this component mounts, I will come in here. I'm gonna get rid of this state portion, but I'll just do this dot full name ref dot current dot focus. So current is important. So it's the current reference to whatever that is related to this component. Okay, so I save that and refresh in here and notice that it, it, it actually goes right into that. Um, so that's a little, I mean, maybe that's cool, maybe it's not, but let's, let's just go ahead and do the same thing with just a button. So I'm gonna keep that reference in there and ignore this component in mount and I'll just say um, handle button click and we'll just say event like you probably have seen before. So handle button click, I'll just copy this send message button and just do on click equals to this dot handle button click. And we'll just call this focus. Oops, we need to put those curly brackets, close it off. And no, not, uh, probably no surprise here, but we can then just do handle button click. And now when the component mounts, it's not focused. I click on focus, it focuses. Uh, so what can you use this for other than just focusing um, when you click a button or an event? Well, if there's some problem with your data that's coming through, you would be able to focus it back there and make it super user friendly where like if I put in my name here and I actually put an email in and that's an error on the back end, like the back end's like, no, nah, you can't do that. Um, it will send you an error. Then you could focus back in on that data. That, that's kind of cool. That's like a nice little thing that, that happens there. But there's one other thing that we could do with this reference. I mean, there's many different things that we can do with this reference, but um, one other thing that we could do is actually on my handle submit, I could just use these references to grab whatever that value is. So like that. And I'll go ahead and console log whatever that value is. Oh, dot current dot value rather. Want to make sure that we've got that. Okay, so we save that. And I'm gonna just type some stuff out, hit send message, and we see the value is coming through twice. Um, so that's cool. So that also means that I could probably clear the value. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this focus button, put another one down and say clear. And I'll just call, I'll change the handle button click to handle focus click. And then handle clear click. Okay, so handle focus click. I'm gonna just copy that and change it to clear click and current dot value equals to empty. Okay, so I come in here, type that out and hit clear. What do you know? It clears out the input. Now it didn't change the state value, right? So the, the I mean, there's another way that we could actually do this. Uh, you probably wouldn't use the reference. I mean, you might, but since we have um, this value here. So we have the value that's correlated to the state. Since those things are correlated, I would actually use this as doing something like this dot set state and then clearing out the values, right? So the initial state would be something more like this. Um, so I save that and 
type some stuff out and hit clear, the same sort of thing happens. Um, and, and you'll see that a lot in React. I mean, you can do multiple ways of doing one thing. Uh, it just really depends on what it is that you're trying to build. Now, I don't actually have to, like in, in, a, in a contact form, in this particular contact form, I probably don't need to correlate the state at all, right? I probably don't need to put this full name value in here. Um, I probably could just use the clear value and, and just be completely fine as far as rendering out what happens, right? So if I change this to here, for example, um, and then have my inputs coming through not based off of the state, but based off of those inputs from those references, that, that I mean, that's perfectly okay. Um, or you could use the combination of both of them. I don't know if you would necessarily need to do that, but you could do that. Um, now, and do note that since I did change this value, it didn't actually trigger this on change event. That's something that's interesting. So it, it won't actually trigger those events as if, you know, I mean, that's not a way to trigger it, in other words, right? Um, okay, so we now have this reference. There are other ways to do it. Uh, but that's not something I'm going to talk about just yet. I just want to let you know, this is how you actually create a reference to anything. A lot of times you'll see this focus, um, especially for all the reasons I just mentioned. So uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to get everything. I'm going to be doing a lot more React videos. Um, I, I mean, I'm just really, really starting to like React a lot for just little itty bitty things like this. I mean, honestly, you could just make a really cool input form and you're done. Like, and that's all you need for your React app. And, and you can put this on other websites. You can do this in many different places. And I mean, granted, you still have to wrap in the back end, but this is pretty cool. I, I think it is at least. Um, thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you guys next time.